Hello again, and welcome back, my wonderful Coder Cats and Coder Kittens. As usual, this is back at going my Netcat or Netcat's Meow most places online. And I am here today to be your Coder Kitty, talking to you about Linden scripting language. In this case, we actually had, I had a call for help from somebody working on a thing that wanted to have moving pieces on their avatar. And they were having trouble getting the code to work. And I realized the problem was a bit of a misunderstanding about the difference between when using set link primitive parameters, there is a difference between prim position and prim position local. And we're actually going to look at those differences today by using this handy little object I created, just a Mark 1 cube and a couple of Mark 2 spheres. And we're going to illustrate that Popping back over here for convenience sake. So we're going to start just manipulating the original basic root object. And we're going to set prim underscore position. And we're going to get the position by starting with get position plus a basic three-dimensional vector. This is to add, actually let's bring that down, three meters on the vertical. Close the list bracket, close the argument parentheses. There we go. There it is, all the way up there. So it did in fact move. But if I try to do this for the individual attached parts, you're gonna find that does not work. So let's copy this and set it to work on links two and three. Now I click it, and a whole lot of nothing happens. It's the exact same code here, except I'm applying it to something that's not the root prim. So that means I have to do this a little differently. For one thing, we have to use prim position local because that is relative to the root prim. And we'll even make it more convenient and bring them right back into alignment on start. Oh, still a whole lot of nothing happened. That is because I'm still using the get position, which is the global position, so it's going to be producing numbers that are not within the scope of what that is allowed to move in. So, changing those to local, save. Well, they just moved. there. Didn't quite get exactly the effect I was expecting, but it still actually worked. Let's make this a little bit easier to follow. Adjust those to only a one meter difference. So 
essentially what they're doing, by the way, here, is they're moving themselves relative to the root trim, equivalent to how this is moved from relative to my avatar center, which is an interesting little quirk of doing it that way. But if I save this again, you see they actually move closer because I moved this closer to the true center of my avatar. And there you go. Local position deals with where it is relative to the root prim. Global position deals with the root prim itself. So that is just a quick basic on the difference between prim position and prim position local, as well as get local position and get position. So hopefully that will help anybody else who's run into this particular quirky little problem. And I hope to see you again next week for another Coder Kitty Decoded or Coder Kitty's Workshop, where every lesson is a project and every project is a lesson. Links to the playlists as well as to my Discord server are below. So have fun there. Until I see you again, good day, good week, good luck, happy coding. Meow.